Over 30,000 killed in the last two and a half years. Violence spilling over. Beheadings, all the rest of it. Police, police chiefs, mayors being killed on a, well, police on a daily basis, mayors on a weekly basis. It is total pandemonium. U.S. diplomats being murdered. And, and, and they blame this on our guns. And I saw this start about a year ago. And then suddenly, about five months ago, the attorney general started ordering gun shops in the southwest from Texas to California to order, to order on record, without law, that when somebody buys a semi-automatic rifle or handgun, that's most guns, that you've got to go ahead and call the ATF on them. On top of the fact that you go through an instant FBI background check and they're now denying people who have no criminal record it's the no-fly, no-gun-buy list executed by fiat that Obama has said he wants to be law. Just like they're shutting down our coal-powered plants, even though Congress didn't pass the new law. They're just doing it. And this is a big deal. And, and people are in denial. Stop being in denial. It's like about five years ago, I was in McBride's gun shop buying some ammo. And uh, a guy came over. And kind of one of the, behind the counter and said, Alex, I don't, it's a big gun shop, biggest in town. He, he came over behind the counter while I was talking to one guy and he said, I don't appreciate you lying about George W. Bush and saying that he supported the assault weapons ban. And I said, well, he's on the, and I said nicely, I said, he's been on the news pushing it. I, I said, sir, you're gravely mistaken. And then one of the owners comes over and goes, Alex is right. He did. And the guy goes, really? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, what do you think? I just lie up here? You think, you, you know, these self-righteous ninnies will get in your face and tell you you're a liar because they're ignorant. I don't appreciate you lying about George W. Bush saying he has supported the assault weapons ban. That's not true. You know, the kind of good old boy in me. And I just said, really? Well, you're, you're gravely mistaken. <laughs> they even had YouTube at the time then. And I said, why don't you go to YouTube and type in Bush endorses assault weapons ban. And uh, but but side issue, this is the big issue. What I'm about to get to, they're moving with a major offensive against the Second Amendment. In fact, let's get Larry Pratt on the next few days for a brief 15 minute talk on this. Undoubtedly, they're gearing up some more lunatics they've got in mental institutions to you know give them guns and turn them loose as they've been caught doing. But I, I wanted to remind you that this came out. This came out uh, on March 3rd, CBS News. Agent, I was ordered to let U.S. guns into Mexico. And we'll play that newscast coming up in the third hour. I'm going to do a report on this, a 10-minute report or so. And he says, this is standard procedure. We're told to let the guns into Mexico and to know what's happening and to release the guns and to allow it to happen. And that's a false flag attack. Because that's, I told you a year ago, this would be their attack plan. And then again, five months ago, that, 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 that the whole thing centers around, it's America's fault for what's happening in Mexico. The only thing America is at fault in Mexico is keeping the phony drug war going, which creates $500 billion in black market money and so it incentivizes crime. And Americans are using those drugs. So in a way, we are guilty because we haven't decriminalized. That would end this overnight. You think the mafia wanted prohibition to end in 1930? Um, no. Do you think the drug dealers want drug prohibition to end? Do you think government and the banks that launder it want it to? No, they don't want that. So that's CBS News. There's another one. ATF source confirms walking guns to Mexico to pad statistics. That's the quote from a senior officer uh, to create the illusion that the problem is caused in the U.S., that's the examiner. Here's another one. Daily News. Mayor, police chief, and official in U.S. border town busted for running guns to Mexico and drug cartels. Again, government. Government, government, government. And Obama has run a false flag in the two years he's been in, ordering the guns to be allowed into Mexico, knowingly, even involved in the transactions, walking the guns, helping get them in, to then come out and say, give us your guns because of Mexico. And that's what Obama announced yesterday. OK, now I'm going to go to break and I'm going to come back and take calls uh, for the rest of uh, the next 40 minutes or so. Then Dr. Bob Bowman joins us on the situation uh, unfolding. But we do have a false flag going on. It's very simple. They 
I say a year ago, two years ago when he got in, he said the violence and they had the Justice Department have press conferences in Texas and Arizona and, and blame the Second Amendment for it. And then a year ago, it intensified. And then before the State of the Union a few months ago, he was supposedly going to announce it. And Gibbs said he was the outgoing Gibbs press secretary. And then he didn't announce it. But the word was it was going to be because of Mexico and the Gifford shooting. We've got to have mental health laws outside of the current laws to just say the government says you've got a mental problem. You can't own a gun or you get a divorce. You immediately you know, you have a restraining order and can't have guns uh, or and in all, in all federal outside of of, of, of of felonies or even misdemeanors for that matter. So it's two pronged. They're going to blame everything on Mexico. They've already done it. Everything happening in Mexico on the Second Amendment and the Gifford situation. They're coming after our guns. And I'll get into the legislation he's proposing and that they're busy writing right now. But the assault on the Second Amendment is here. Obama made all those jokes. The White House said, how dare people claim he wants your guns? He's not introducing legislation. Chris Matthews said, you people are crazy. Well, they're coming. So people were right in the last two and a half years to have two and a half years of record gun sales. And uh, you know what they said in Texas and Gonzales when the war started in 1836, when the Mexican army came to take the guns. They said, come and take them. Barrel Do first. you want to learn more about preparing for the hard times ahead? Have you ever thought about actually getting off the grid and becoming truly self-reliant? Introducing Off the Grid News, a weekly newsletter for independent Americans who want practical advice on how to survive and even prosper in an increasingly dangerous world. It's the best way to get a black belt in emergency preparedness, survival skills, and off-the-grid living. Packed with hard-hitting information on gardening, food preparation, alternative energy, and home security, there's there's simply nothing like it. And the best part, this $100 annual subscription is now free of charge. Simply sign up today and you'll also get our hard-hitting report, Food Shock. Why 2011 could be the single most important year in American history to plant a family garden. It's absolutely free for listeners who sign up at offthegridnews.net. That's offthegridnews.net. Get your free Food Shock right now at offthegridnews.net. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the checkout to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over five years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today completely with two black Berkey elements for only $209 and the Berkey guy will include three sport Berkey water bottles and ship everything to you free of charge. That's right, three sport Berkey water bottles and free shipping. An $87 value, yours free. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. to your phone calls until Dr. Bob Bowman joins us and we'll continue with phone calls uh, today right through into the third hour. I just want to recap something. All 
Hades has broke loose in Japan. We need to pray for him. The government over there has been caught lying every step of the way to only later confirm our worst fears. Radiation cloud is drifting into Tokyo. The radiation level is going up. But it's not uranium and plutonium. At least they're saying it isn't. It's the other isotopes and other derivatives that are still very bad. Cesium, radioactive iodine, strontium. Very bad, can kill you. But they're saying that, well, as long as you have brief exposures, you, sh you should be okay. Well, I mean, uh, they live there. It's drifting towards them. We cannot trust these governments to tell us the truth. And that's what we're going to be tracking and trying to figure out is how severe is this really? Michael, Derek, Joe, John, Kirby, I'm going to go to all of you right now. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Let's talk to Michael in California. You're on the air. Hi, Alex. Hey. First-time caller. Uh, I've listened to you for the last couple of years now. i just like to say uh, you are the people's champion. And uh, I'd like to give kudos to uh, InfoWars and Prison Planet for uh, your world-class news coverage. It's, uh, you're doing a great service for America and the world. Well, let me say this. You don't need to thank me. You can just say dittos or kudos. I, I appreciate it. But it's my whole team that, that is providing this information, so they deserve uh, the lion's share of the credit. I couldn't do it without my great team. We're getting record traffic on InfoWars and Prison Planet. I've had IT people struggling. Uh, around the clock to keep the sites up. I want to apologize to the Drudge Report because it is not good web etiquette to when he links to InfoWars to change the link to Prison Planet to a copy of the article, but InfoWars was unable to stay up because of all the other traffic, so that's why we did that, and Drudge obviously understood that. But we've been having to juggle a lot of things because uh, basically we've shattered our previous bandwidth records by double, okay? Uh, it, it is off the charts, the amount of people visiting the sites, and it's a great responsibility. What's on your mind, Michael? Well, Alex, I have uh, one shocking news tip and one question. Uh, the, the news tip is this. Is, uh, I looked all over Ventura, California for pot potassium iodide yesterday. It was gone. So I, uh, I found a, a pharmacist who was willing to uh, fill a prescription for me for potassium iodide. And, uh, and I went to uh, urgent care to get a prescription filled, and the doctor denied it because they said they talked to CDC and the DHSC, and they recommended that they not give out the prescription for potassium iodide. So now the federal government is blocking something that, by the way, is over the counter. Uh, uh, you, you can buy potassium iodate, the, 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 the medical-grade pills, over the counter. So now, well, those reports, and, and here's the problem. The emails are pouring in. Uh, the people usually give the town and the name. I have limited staff, but we do need to call through the emails. Aaron showed me a bunch last night, but he worked till 3 in the morning. Uh, so uh, I, I was only up here till till 9 uh, on uh, the, the, the research. Uh, and, the, yes, what you just said is, is confirmed by just – the volume of, of comments. But, sir, can you write an email and send it? Well, I'll put you on hold and give you kind of a, a less trafficked email to make sure it gets through. But but CC it to show tips at InfoWars.com. Can you give me the name of the urgent care, where it happened, what happened, so we can do an article that confirms this, that the government is blocking over-the-counter stuff, that, telling you you can't get it? You, you betcha. I, I, I'll, do, I'll do exactly that. Uh, could I get a one quick question for uh, you and Ben Fuchs? Uh, absolutely. We, don't, we haven't been able to get a hold of pharmacists, Ben Fuchs, but we're trying. But, yeah, throw your question out on the other side. Michael and Derek uh, and others will go directly to you. But um, I'm going to have John Harmon uh, give you an email right now. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. 
Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information.